Bonjour Junior Engineers, welcome to my problem at day series. In this video, we're going to do a problem on engineering economics. These type of problems are important if you're taking FE civil, mechanical, other disciplines, or if you're just taking engineering economics class. Now, if you're here for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer a better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's get started. Oh yeah, everybody now. Okay guys, so this problem is actually very easy, straightforward problem. I actually got the same thing on my FE exam and so that's why I wanted to share with you guys. On the next video, however, I will use the same concept but we'll do a little bit harder kind of a problem. So I just want you guys to understand the basics and also that in the FE exam sometimes you would get some very simple easy questions like this, similar to this. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so we have a farm that was purchased for an initial payment of $200,000. The profits from farming is about $20,000 and these profits are indefinite. That means like forever. And we need to find the interest rates on the initial investment. Now, here's something that you guys have to always keep in mind. Whenever you see something like indefinite or forever, you always make sure you use the capitalized costs. That's exactly what does that mean. So if you go to page 137 on the reference handbook, you will see here the capitalized costs are present worth values using assumed perpetual period of time. And this perpetual just means like indefinite, like forever. So P, which is the present worth or the capitalized cost is equal to the annual worth divided by I, which is the interest. So let's write the equation and start solving for it. So I have P is equal to A over I. Now I, which is the interest rate, is equal to A over P. It's really that simple, guys. A is uh, $20,000, and this is usually per year divided by P, which is $200,000. Now, if you plug in this, you'll get an answer of 0 0.1. Now, you have to multiply this by 100 to get in percentage, which gives you 10%. So your answer is going to be C. Okay, guys, so don't forget to do the problems before you check out the solution because the best way to learn something is by doing it. And remember, problem a day keeps the F away. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure you share with your friends who might find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon. À la prochaine.